Co. YouTube channel where we do all things fabrication, engineering, and design. Today's video is going to be a KC1200 project update. I want to catch you guys up and show you everything in its current form, what I'm calling the test delivery. Right now, the bike probably looks about 90% done, but it's really about 75% done. All of the major components are built and designed, so the heavy lifting is pretty much over. But right now, it still has all 3D printed bodywork, an uncoated chassis, and no finished paint. Final form, there'll still be a lot of updates, all of the coatings will be done, it'll get carbon fiber bodywork, and a finished paint job. You're probably wondering, what the heck is a livery? Livery is a term used in Grand Prix racing to express the current appearance package. Graphics, paint and overall appearance. So every year Formula One and MotoGP teams announce and unveil their new liveries for the year, their new appearance packages. What they also do is they have what's called test liveries for preseason testing. And oftentimes F1 cars and MotoGP bikes are all black for their test liveries for preseason testing. They just go murdered out, all black, no frills, nothing exciting. It's just getting down to business. So that's where this all comes from when I say this bike, the KC1200, is in its test livery, all black. So let's check this thing out. So as I told you guys, all of the bodywork right now is 3D printed. It allows you to test print all of the body panels to check out the size, shape, and the proportions to make sure that's the direction you want to go. So let's start with the front end of the bike. First, the headlight fairing. That is an FDM black test print. I still want to make a couple changes to this part as I want to slide the headlight in from the back and get rid of that removable flange on the front. I think that'll be a lot cleaner, but this gave me a good idea of the size, shape, and proportion of the headlight fairing. Next, the front fender. Right now, this is an SLA black test print, but the final product will be a carbon fiber part. And as for the shape and the size and the look of it, I don't think I'm going to make any changes to the front fender model. I'm pretty happy. Let's move to the fuel cells in the tail unit. So if you haven't watched previous videos, this is the main fuel cell here, obviously. And then there's another fuel cell that occupies the cavity in the subframe under the seat. So right now, these three parts are all SLA black test prints. I must confess, this is the second time that I've printed these three parts. The first time it was really close, but I just wanted to make a couple small changes to the model, narrow them up a little more, um, and now I'm very happy. So these three parts are actually going to be carbon fiber parts as well in its final form, and I'm very happy right now with the way that they look and the shape and the proportions to this bike. So I'm not going to make any more changes to the two fuel cells and the tail unit. So the last of the 3D printed parts, but certainly not the least, is the bottom fairing. The bottom fairing is a very elaborate part that I modeled that serves multiple purposes. Number one, it occupies the real estate underneath the bike. Since this is a trellis style chassis, there's no frame rails underneath the engine. So in my opinion, that cavity needed to be occupied by something to complete the overall proportions of the bike. Also, the bottom fairing houses the oil cooler back here. It lives inside the voltage regulator and it captures air in the front, transfers it through the fairing and cools the regulator and the oil cooler and then bleeds out the back. Here you can kind of see the grate in the back of the fairing where the air bleeds through. Next, I wanted to show you the auxiliary fuel cell tucked way in here under the seat inside the sheet metal subframe. Uh, there's the shock reservoir bottle with the adjuster sticking out. I like that. If we come up here, you can see there was a hole cut in the foam seat. Kind of rudimentary, but I like that. Um, the other fuel cell cap is down there where you can fill the auxiliary fuel cell. 
I think that'll probably be that way in the final form on the carbon as well. I thought about doing some removable seed or something, but I like this better. Matching main fuel cap, just a little larger. Oh, and I better show you the little foam plug that you put in here. Nice and flush to make that hole disappear. <laughs> so just some other minor details. You can see a 3D printed velocity stack there that I modeled. Right now that's an FDM print. The surface finish is a little rough. It'll probably be an MJF print in its final form and it'll get foam on the inlet. Last thing I wanted to show you guys was the exhaust. I really should have done a specific video on the exhaust and how I built it. I was just really busy and did not have time, but hopefully I can build something like this soon and do a video to show you guys how I built it. It's all one millimeter CP1 titanium. Show you guys some of the welds up close here. It's wicked light, it turned out really nice. Equal header lengths. You can see a two to one collector here. And then the most wild and exciting and fun part was the exhaust outlets here. 100% MotoGP inspired. Actually the Suzuki MotoGP team specifically. It has hexagon screens over the end that I modeled and water jetted and welded. And uh, I could not be happier by the way this turned out and looked for this specific motorcycle. It really completes the MotoGP look, in my opinion. All right, guys, that is it. Short and sweet on this video. I wanted to show you guys the test livery and where I'm at in the current state of the KC1200. Next, I'm gonna blow this thing apart. I'm gonna do a few more projects. That'll be surprises at the end, but I'm gonna coat the chassis get the carbon fiber work done, finish paint it, and try and get this thing to the finish line. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys were able to get value out of this video or learn something or at the very least get inspired. And as always, I'm rooting for you on your fabrication journey. See you next time on the Cully Co. YouTube channel. See you later.